Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel and we are covering Uber Eats clone. This is the 67th video and we are going to create a restaurant landing page for this. So you have already seen this is the layout which we are going to work on. We already have uh, the landing page. I mean we already have the APIs for that. So what I'm going to do is first let's create a mock UI and then we are going to do the API integration for that. For this also we already have the APIs like okay give me the information about the restaurant and all the dish menu items for that based on the category and then we should be able to when you click on to these different categories we should be able to fetch the list with the images okay and then you, you will start adding the items to the cart. So what we are going to do here is uh, we already have our react app this is our, our react app so we already have the landing page so these are the, the, the different routes. Here I'm going to create a different route group, which is this is the React Router DOM v6. You can create a different router group. So this is my base path. So on the restaurant, when you hit a restaurant or restaurant by ID, I'm going to render the same page. And on the page component, I can check okay if the ID, the path param is uh, not passed, then I will take you to the home page or I will show you the default restaurant page. Otherwise, we are going to get the restaurant data. So this is the restaurant ID we are going to pass on the UI and based on that we will make API call get, fetch the data of the restaurant and then show the information on the, the UI about that particular restaurant and for that we already have services so we can check uh, our APIs if they are that is running so I think it's localhost 3003 so this is our restaurant by ID what it gives us it gives us the whole restaurant information with its menu items we also need to add a category because we need to show the categories on the, the restaurant landing page and when you click on the category i'm talking about this particular section when you click on the categories so the restaurant by id should give you all the information about the restaurant the restaurant information and the dish menu items based on the categories so let's start working on to that so what we need to do we need to create that layout okay so for that layout we are going to create a restaurant page that is going to render that is going to use app layout so there is a landing page the layout and then there is app layout so what app layout is doing app layout has these three important components okay this is the flex layout and here we have a left sidebar then there is a middle section for the, all the children and then there is a right sidebar, sidebar where we are just managing the cart okay so left sidebar is a left navbar vertical and then there is a middle section which talks about okay the fetching the, the restaurant data and the right sidebar which is going to show you any items which you have added in the cart so there we are going to integrate with the cart service the middle section will be using the restaurant service and the left section will be just using this user service to check off okay if user is logged in or not and this route is protected that uh, i mean this route is also public because you can you can still navigate to the restaurant page even if you are logged in or not but on the left sidebar we need to check here you need to show the options only if user is logged in or we need to show only selected options here also uh, we can fetch the cart data i mean uh, if user is logged in otherwise this cart will be empty because this is a historical data let's say you just logged in and you added something in the cart and you reloaded the page then we need to fetch what user has already added in the cart okay so let's start building that so what we are going to do we will just uh, create a restaurant layout restaurant page so we just need to build a left sidebar right sidebar and we will also check how the overall layout is going to be because this can be a simple flex layout if you see think about this this is the middle section because there is no new bar header left sidebar middle sections and the right sidebar you can see and left and right sidebar will always be visible right so let's design this here we are using react icons and here we are using some of the components restaurant listing and the items component okay so let's uh, design this so first we will try to check uh, what is this uh, api is returning and then we will also do some changes so let's authorize this i think this should be a public api and here I will try to fetch the, the list of restaurant first. I think I have added some menu items onto one of the restaurant. 
so i will try to get that i can try to filter something here okay this has been added to this restaurant id so i will try to play with this so restaurant id and here if i do i can see this option so this is the restaurant data and then there are the dish menu items let's say there are like three or four dishes has been added but i need to do a categorization okay because i'm going to have a categories category should be only like okay this is the brunch lunch dinner breakfast all these different options should be provided okay so this category we, currently there is only one category but uh, there will be different categories and based on that we are going to show on the restaurant landing page so i will try to do the groupings so you can see this is the dish menu items and we can do the groupings so that uh, we don't need to do the grouping on the front end so here this is our apis we'll go to the restaurant service and let's go to our controller restaurant controller so this is our controller right and here we are doing fetch restaurant by id and that is just only doing some relationships okay give me the the dishes here i can also try to fetch the address okay because it's like a combination of all the data so i can also fetch the address information about the restaurant await so what we need to do is await uh, this dot uh, restaurant address restaurant address repo we need to inject that thing because that is not there restaurant address entity okay restaurant entity is there i will try to add the So we added this restaurant address repo and then I can get the data here. Restaurant address repo dot uh, here we can just do a simply dot find because uh, what I'm doing is I'm getting all the, the list dish menu items and then I'm doing a groupings. So this dot address repo dot find. So this is how the type ORM simple simple find operation works. So here we can just do a simple find find will give us an array right so we can do simple find one and here inside a where close so here we can just pass the restaurant and you don't need to pass the whole object you can just pass the id because we already have the id so this will give us the address of the restaurant now what we need to do is we need to do the grouping okay so const dish menu items this dish menu items we are getting from this object okay you don't need to return it um, let's say response because we need to play with this response first response dot okay what happens it's doing fine so this should be an array of restaurant entity this should be restaurant dot dish await what happens restaurant entity <clears throat> this is an array and uh, find one okay this is wrong right fetch restaurant by id so we should do just only find one so it will give us an object not an array and then here i can do is response dot uh, dish menu items dishes that will give me all the dishes which are associated to that then i can get all the categories so here i can just use some group by operation <coughs> so group by is actually some utility helper we need to write and what we are doing group by so there is a dish menu items we are going to group them based on the category so let's say this is an object okay this is an array and inside that i'm going to create a category grouping based on the category and i can just write this uh, group by function inside a utility helper so i can create a utility inside the restaurant 
or in the domain i can create one folder it's a simple utility helpers whatever the helpers you think you can add them index.ts and this is already predefined function it's like it is going to do the grouping you can use it as it is and this is the group by i will import the group by is coming from our utility so we got the categories now when we have the categories what we need to do we just need to fetch the data and return the response so here we are going to add some more properties address equal to the address which we have received so this is point one do we have address object there we will add this property and then response dot here we can add another property dishes we just overriding that okay by just creating the categories and return response <clears throat> so what we need to do is inside this response this response is of type restaurant entity so inside the restaurant entity we can populate a property uh, which looks like which because we can add a populate an address object address relationship in the restaurant entity so let's see where is our entity <clears throat> because there is a one to one relationship we are doing with the restaurant address entity so we don't need to introduce any uh, other attribute add all missing imports that is sorted right because restaurant and address has a one to one relationship so this is our restaurant service everything is sorted and it is returning the response now if i try to see the response now of the same api okay let's wait until it restarts or we got some problem restaurant address entity repository is a provider so we, let's see what is there simply try to understand it is a provider then it is a part of domain module no okay let's go to the domain module and here i'm uh, having a restaurant address entity but not being passed here so that will not allow you to use the repository until unless you don't pass the entity here so now it is sorted uh, our application is running i can just do the api call now and here you can see these are the categories right dishes is the object inside that i have a categories and these are the arrays so that is what i want i will have a multiple categories inside a key value pair it will be a category name it will be like okay lunch brunch dinner breakfast or something like that and these will be the menu items and these are like groupings we are creating so on the ui you will be accessing the dishes object that contains the key value pair and these keys are the categories and the values are the the tiles icons okay the 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 breakfast has all these menu items right so this is like uh, simply helping our front end so that we can get all the respective response so let's design our restaurant landing page so what we are going to do here is in the app.tsx this is our left sidebar this is what the component we are going to design because that component was just in the draft now we need to create that component and then we are going to put all these things together so that our design can work together so here we are going to have a left sidebar and then we are going to have the right sidebar this is how the the whole system will work so let's create our left sidebar this is our the layout for the restaurant page so this restaurant page is nothing but a simple home.tsx it's importing home component from the restaurant page it's empty right now so let's uh, build them so here first first component we are going to import is the left sidebar so let's put the left sidebar here let's create the component first so we can create a grouping because the landing page component exists here so we can create a grouping and create our components here left side bar dot tsx and it shows a couple of options in the left side right so what we can do is we can create an so let's first create a component const export const 
uh, left bar routes because we are going to show the couple of routes and that will have these uh, different properties and we are going to import home icons and all from the hero icons here so let's say this is the the home icon this we can get from the the react outline hero icon so react icons we can use here i mean all the the hero icons we can use and icon style we can create a variable for that so icon style equal to this is a string right so we can just say height is six because we are using tailwind width is six text is gray text gray 500 and when you do the hover then text will become white so this is the icon style so similarly there are multiple options we have like whatever we are going to show on the left sidebar so i will try to paste all of these i already have that in the draft like what all menu items we are going to create now coke icon heart icon cache icon and all right and now what we are going to return from this so this is an array now we'll create a component export default default function left side bar this is going to be a function that is going to return some jsx and inside this we are going to create a left side bar so you know left side bar is actually uh in the flex, flex layout right so if you see our the whole layout it's like let me just go to this page it's an empty right so here it is going to have a flex layout which is already coming if, if i just try to inspect if i try to inspect the body what it is showing right now is inside this this is a flex layout right inside this we are going to create our all the layout so it's a flex row background is this and we are creating our first component so here i will just create div class name okay padding 5 border we can create border length 2 and width is 28 height is up to the screen height screen and background is white for the left side bar it is fixed the position is fixed and shadow what happened fixed shadow md okay these are a couple of classes we have so i just imported them here fix shadow md and then this is my div inside this div what i'm going to create is my layouts okay so here i will just create a div class name and what classes we can just use we can just give some uh, vertical spacing of all these div icons and then we already have a left sidebar menu items left sidebar routes dot map and what do we have inside the map we have item and index item and index these are item is of type uh, what let's say not any and index is of type number item is of type this can be an interface id name routes and icon right and it is returning something that we can do here return it is returning gsx so what it is returning a simple div inside div key is we can just pass this unique key index and then class name here i will try to just put some icon and all inside this okay it is populating some data but i think we are not going to use it here i will just say item dot item dot icon item dot icon and then we also need to create a styling for it 
is it still is it rendering something okay left sidebar we need to import also on the root layout so here left sidebar in this layout we need to import so that we should be able to fetch it on the home page okay something is coming up right that's nice so here you can see if you if you talk about the layouts and all then we can understand it a little bit better so this is the flex layout the whole and this is a uh, position fixed if you see the classes here this is height is to the up to the screen edge screen background white fixed shadow md and then here we did some vertical spacing to these elements space y4 and then each and every icon right now we just need to style them a little bit better way and then so this is our left sidebar which will always be there on this restaurant page that is kind of done okay so here we add some more classes on to each and every node item so here is our div class name so class name can be we can specify what is the width let's say width 16 height is also 16 and when you hover it how you can add a classes hover when you do hover i can just set bz background gradient why this tailwind auto complete not working gradient to r i mean this is how you can apply the gradients something is happening and then from okay let me see background is transparent and then what is the gradient right from orange 500 to orange to orange 500 so to orange 500 to gradient 500 and hover when you do hover what is the effect we want to apply over shadow shadow to excel and this is the flex container justify center so all the items can be yes you can see the effect this is the flex container when i do flex justify center all these will be aligned center and i'm just also going to get move them rounded rounded right so that they can be n circle inside the circle okay something is happening but not exactly what i want rounded full and when you do on click i will also add a click action onto this so when you on click i'm going to use the router so we can use a navigation here use navigation is coming from react router dom and i can just simply click to and you click onto any of this we are going to navigate what happened with this navigate to that particular item route so we already have item dot route okay so did you mean navigate what happened navigation this typescript compiler is a little slow okay now when you click on it so we added a click action okay spacing is fine here i think we i need to change some classes so hover background gradient gradient to red background is transparent so from orange 500 to orange this over is this uh, i will check the classes and now so this is the simple class what do we have if we can check the layout okay we also need this footer in the bottom we have this sign out icon right so how we can add it so these are all our routes right so this is the closing of that and then we also have one icon which is for sign out why this is not working div div okay opening and closing this is the opening and this is closing let me see this is silly type script it's showing some error but everything is fine so inside this div what we need to do is we need to create a sign out icon so here also we can add a class name 
so inside class name we can have have a width 16 height 16 so over and some classes so those classes we will add and inside this we are going to add another icon so this is the pre, uh, the predefined icon we are going to have a logout icon in the bottom so this logout icon we also need to import from hero icons now this should be fixed and then if i just try to see now i need to fix the layout for this right it should be in the bottom right so what we need to do this is going to have an absolute layout so this is this is where our styling concepts come into the picture so here this is our icon and this is height width okay if i just add some more classes we can play here so what are classes i can add i can add uh, because this is a uh, bottom i can just set bottom two and can set absolute will it do yes it moves something like this so it is in the bottom okay yes you can see i just added absolute and the bottom two so from bottom this much if you see this is this has added the classes bottom two and this is absolute layout and then you can just do the same rounded uh, rounded pull item center flex uh, because this is the, again the flex justify center i think that is enough to center align it okay so we just added a rounded fill uh, flex justify center okay this is at least in the center and i think this is what we want right now we have the layouts for the left sidebar what we will do is now we will create a right sidebar and then we will come to the, the middle section i will fix this thing rounded and then uh, because it should be coming in the center of it so if you look into this layout here this looks correct it should be positioned to the center of this circle because we are doing a rounded full width height i will check and then we are creating the right sidebar now let's build this middle section so we can just divide this into the multiple parts this can be the header part and then these are the menu categories because it is going to play with the array so inside header we just not we don't have much search bar and some labels images and all so let's create uh, the home page so this home page we can use for it so it is going to have multiple sections top sections and then menu categories and then we will combine all of these together so there can be a one parent component and then there are multiple children components we can create or we can create a different different folders for it so this is the home page restaurant page inside this uh, we are going to create multiple components so first of all let's say we will just divide all of these into a sections class name here margin top 5 that's it and here we are going to add all these things why this autocomplete stops working and then we can have okay render me the top sections let's say top section this can be a component okay then we have menu category this can be another component and then we will write one by one each and then this is the food menu items based on what you are selecting so these are the three different categories for the middle section and now here we will start creating our components so first of all uh, let's create a top section okay so here we will create a top section function this is our component top section or let's keep it uh, so instead of creating these separate separate 
uh, one thing we can have is let's say we can create this as a home component home page and then these all can be the, the child components for it so instead of this this is going to be returning and we can create all these small functions inside this only they are going to return the gsx so menu category and then the food because what they are going to return they are going to return some gsx so this is just a style of creating uh, components and just like i'm just aggregating all these things together right and then this is now everything is inside a home component and it is returning this whole gsx which is coming from uh, multiple functions okay and here on this top home page what you will do is you will start fetching the data and all these operations will perform fetching the the restaurant page data and then supplying that information to these small components so uh, let's build it so top section top section means uh, the simple banner right here what we need to return we will just add that in our styling so here we have a div class name and inside this okay so i need to use this it's complete coming from the ai ai world so div div class name and here i will just add all the the classes let's put the div inside this div i can just put these div classes now this one commands if p okay wait commands if p and format document with all these things okay now i will just add uh, classes what i need to justify justify between flex is row and margin right is 10 okay because we are creating the top menu and it is here we can create a uh, what is today's menu or any label you can put and some classes for this what is classes because we wanted to highlight it so text to excel and this you can also check the font font we wanted to put font bold okay and then we will add another div so that would div will have a class names what classes we need to add is background right that is fine all the items should be center so this is what we are designing okay search menu and uh, this today's menu will be the justify between right and then this is the label which contains two images and just a space between them okay so background white item center the we will also choose the height okay let's say height 10 and it is a flex shadow also we can choose shadow excel shadow to excel and rounded because it's rounded right on the top corners rounded large we can just set rounded rounded large pxl okay so this is like the full section inside this what do we have a at the right we have input text field so i will just try to add that input type text and we will also have own change method whenever you are doing it you are actually trying to search something and then class name for it so class name will be okay width is the full width and margin left is 8 margin right is 8 background is transparent height is full so this is input text field and then there is a label right and now we have just uh, two images inside this div there is a search icon also there with this input text field so this is our top header and search icon we can import from search icon outline that's good we can auto complete it okay so now let's talk about this div is finished this is actually the top header search icon now we will work on the body part right because there is a 
background we need to put some orange or something like that so here div class name and inside this we can just set some background color for that like let's say background gray 300 rounded to excel margin top is 5 margin left is 0 and then shadow excel shadow to excel and inside this we will have a div that is going to show this uh, the whole white block and it will be again a flex container so this is the flex flex row flex row justify weapon because we are going to show two things and the, the middle part is kind of empty margin top three and here we are going to have an image in the left image source and class name for the image is width of that image is 48 height of that image is 44 rounded to excel this is our image i will just try to find the source of the image and we'll apply that and after that image we are just showing some label basic label and button if you show this i'm talking about this section so it's a flex column with the three divs inside it right so it's a flex column layout so first is this image so after this image because there are three sections inside this whole layout for this image this is the rounded corner and then this section so this is the flex row and this section is a flex column with the three divs like two text and one button so that we can add to class name and text center if i center flex and flex column flex column and inside this we are going to have okay what is the name because this is a flex column right hello user first label then second label is which contains couple of things let's say here i will just put something get free delivery or something like that and then third section is just one button so paragraph paragraph and one button this is the flex layout and now let's see this how our ui looks like okay so let's see i just added that we also have some images which we can add here so inside this we didn't place the images right so i can just set images dot big phrase or let's say bike image So there are two icons we need to place in the left and one is in the right so first icon can be we can put anything delivery bike icon and then another icon what happened okay delivery bike icon is actually an image is not assignable to the type string how should we import it then so we are importing the images that contains actually this contains the folder and then images so let me find figure it out images dot i am not able to import the images so same thing uh, i will try to fix this thing here this is another image where we need to put uh, one is in the left and another is in the rightmost which is let's say i'm just using banner image tags okay so the same problem let's try to google this so what i'm going to fix it is i'm just importing the image directly so there, there, there is the image exists right it's a dot png so i can just import it directly in my code and there is another image which we have is uh banner image 
so that also we can import let's say import banner image from similarly we can import this image as such that is coming from let's say banner what happened is there an image okay so let's see what is the image name we have inside this images we have banner one dot jpeg oh, this is trouble always banner one dot jpeg this is the food uh, image I was trying to put. What happened with this? Assets banner. And then I can use this for this particular image. So this is a kind of simple layout. Uh, here we can see. Hello user, we can just change this to instead of putting an orange we can just put it as a simply gray background okay now we can just show the the list menu items so this is our first component top section now the menu category right we are already fetching the correct data currently we either we can mock it and we or we can integrate let's mock it and just publish all the tiles which we have so now the next part is showing this menu category so menu category is let's say the array and we need to show the menu card items okay so that is we already we will be fetching the menu categories from the apis so now we can mock it and then when you click on to it it should be displaying some mock data uh, these icons another card icons about the the dish menu items for that selected category okay so for that we have this menu category component that is going to render some gsx okay so for that we are going to have a small small component inside this cost menu card because menu card component is going to be rendered inside a menu category array so here we have props i will create a menu card component first const menu which we are receiving in the props so this is the menu card which we are going to show as a button so we can just show simply a button component which will have a class name so this class name would be little difficult i mean it has a lots of stuff inside this and inside this button we are going to put the, all the content about the menu card so this is the class name and i can just set this is the button simple so what we need to do is we need to check okay this particular category has been selected or not so that we can add a little later background white we will just change it shadow excel shadow to excel margin left five item center item center justify center margin top 5 and width of this particular card we can set is 32 and inside this card this is like a simple button we are going to have a flex layout right that will decide how these elements are going to be displayed so class name margin top 5 margin bottom bottom 5 margin right 10 margin left 10 item center i mean i think these are some of the classes which is we are using repeatedly item center content center and this is the flex layout flex column because vertically we need to show all the items flex column and inside this we have multiple views that shows the information about the items right so do class name background white so here we will set height 
of this height and width of this justify center height of center so i'm not liking it too much fitting all these uh, classes this is rounded to excel rounded full right because it should be a uh, rounded if you see this section i'm talking about this menu i can write the icon with the rounded right this is the div i'm talking about there are three divs inside it one contains the icon one contains the image and the label so rounded full margin top zero you can say and uh, flex layout and here we are going to render the image about the category image src i will render the flex image and then it's of the image six height of the image six because it's a square section so this is simple image we have now there is a label second is just a menu name another div inside this flex container and then in the bottom like this is how we are going to put the name oh now let's hard code it and if this is selected or not we will write a method for that if this is a selected category or not so we are not making it dynamic right now and then at the last there is another div which shows okay an icon right so this is second div src i will just use this name for now so that this error will be gone then you will change it you can see this card icon and now uh, this is a second div i will just format it so we can read read it properly so this image this label and then third div is simple button right so div class name class name is equal to the same background gradient and all the classes background white height six but this is again an icon right so rounded full all these classes we will add and then because this is the icon we can get from and i will add a class theme for it so height 3 width 3 and text orange 400 okay something like this so we just need to fix the layouts and all i need to apply the right set of classes to make it this is a flex column if we try to see this layout because that also i need to fix so there is too much margin right padding and all this is the first layout so this is considered as a flex row but this is the flex column let's see what all classes applied justify center so this should be flex column and this image we will fix okay and this icon and then this is like a category when you click onto the category we are just going to render the icons okay so what i'm going to do is i mean this is a little bit not that much interesting for me I will try to do it offline. So this is the our body page. Okay, the I mean the home page where we are going to render the categories and all the sections. And then there is a right section which is same. We are going to just uh, list down all the menu items. So I will just try to add the JSX for them, and then we'll connect in the next video instead of like spending hours on this. This is you are far more better on this building the the UIs and the components. I will be just talking about the aggregating the data and displaying it on the UI. So what do we have here is uh, I just try to refactor this and make it a little bit beautiful. Here is our middle section and this is our top section first of all. Okay, this is our top section and inside this you can see this is the top section. This is our middle section which is showing the categories. So here we are showing the category menu card all these different cards in the flex row and inside each and every button these are like flex column vertical column you can see all these three items 
and there can be a class we can use to show okay this is selected so put a gradient there so there is on click item on click action we can trigger and we can have a selected category so these are the category card and this is the food menu item so when you select a category card we are fetching okay what all items we need to show for this category okay so i took the reference from the tailwind to put some classes and fix some of the ui components so this is our home page now the next thing we are going to build is the right section but before that right section we can build with the, the cart when you start adding and clicking on to the plus what we will do is we will do the api integration for all these components and we will revisit all these components we have in our code so here is our home.tsx left sidebar and re, uh, this is being imported from here so this is our home page restaurant page home page and then this is the home page we have so it has a top section menu category and the food cart and the, all these we are importing here so when we do the api integration okay this is the how the data is coming inside these components then you will understand more about the gsx we are writing okay that will simplify lots of things and this is how we proceed further otherwise i mean i can spend a couple of more hours on writing this gsx but i think you are uh, far more expert in that 